Hello and welcome. My name is Tyler. Uh, today we're going to walk through the Gospel Library app and show you some of the features and hopefully help you organize and improve your study of the Gospel. I'm on an iPhone, so if you're on an Android, it might look a little bit different, but all the features should be about the same. The very first thing we want to do is go to Settings. It's the gear icon at the bottom left. And then tap on Sign In at the top. And you'll want to sign in with your LDS username and password. And the main reason we want to do that is because if you sign in here, and then if you sign in on, uh, like, say, an iPad, or if you go to LDS.org, and you make annotations on any of those, they'll be synced, so they'll be updated on any of the devices. Next, let's scroll down to text size. Uh, you can make the text as big or as small as you want. Uh, let's keep ours right there. And then just below that is theme. So you can change the, the background color or the, the text color. Um, I prefer the default, so I think we'll stick with that. Next, let's look at navigation. So I want to get to Moses 1. So I'm going to tap on Scriptures at the top left, and then Pearl of Great Price there in the middle. Then Moses, and chapter 1. If I double tap anywhere on this text, uh, the top bar and bottom bar will go away, and I can scroll and not see those. If I double tap again, uh, they'll come back. And then if I swipe to the left, it goes to the next chapter. If I swipe to the right, it'll go to the previous chapter. And then if I tap on that top bar, this uh, shows me where I'm at. It's like the hierarchy of where I'm at within the scriptures. So I'm at Moses 1 within Moses within Pearl of Great Price. If I tap on Pearl of Great Price, it shows me all of the books within Pearl of Great Price. And then one counterintuitive thing. So if I tap on that back arrow at the top left, uh, you might think that it'll go to scriptures, which is the next level up, but it won't. It'll actually go back to where you were, which is Moses 1, because that's where I was before I tapped on Pearl of Great Price. So if you ever get lost or can't find your way back to the starting place, tap on the top bar and then tap on library. That will get you back to the starting place, which is library. This next feature is a little bit more advanced, but not too bad. So it's called screens. They call it screens on here, but um, it's a lot like uh, tabs in an internet browser. So it's the two boxes icon at the bottom. So if I tap on that, I can add a new one at the bottom right with the plus icon. And anytime it adds a new one, which it just barely did, it starts you at library. So I'll tap on general conference and opening remarks. So if I tap on the screens icon again, um, it shows opening remarks, which is where I am now, and then Moses 1, which is where I was. So if I tap on Moses 1, I can get back there. And this is really nice if you want to compare two scriptures or if you want to be in two places at the same time. If you tap on screens again, if you want to remove a screen, um, you can swipe to the left and then tap on delete. Next, let's look at some study helps. Uh, I'm here in Moses 1, verse 39. Uh, notice how there's a bunch of uh, blue highlighted text. So that's kind of like a link. So if I tap on work right there in the middle, for example, it shows me all of the scriptures that are related to the word work. Um, and it's really nice because it shows all of the verses in line. So I can just read them here instead of having to go to the chapter. Um, if I did want to happen to go to the chapter, say I wanted to go to Matthew 5, 48 there, I can just tap on the yellow text. And it'll take me to the chapter, and I can read all the verses around that verse. So that's really nice. I'll hit the back arrow at the top left. Um, and then I'll tap on Work again just to show this. There's an arrow at the top of the footnotes section. If I tap on that, that shows me all of the footnotes within the chapter. And if I tap on the X, that'll close that. If I wanted to see that again, I can tap at the very top right. There's that little icon there that shows all of the related content. And then one last thing, if I tap on work again, uh, to get rid of this sidebar, I can either tap over there on the left, or I can just swipe it away. Okay, so let's say I want to highlight this scripture. So I'm going to tap and hold anywhere on the text, and then expand the selection. I'm going to do it to the whole verse. And then there's a box that comes up. So at the top left of the box, I can tap on mark, that will mark the scripture and notice that mark turned into style. So if I tap on style, I can change the colors and I can change the style to be underlined. Um, I'm going to stick with green and highlighted and then tap anyone in the text to make that go away. If I want to edit this highlight, 
I can tap anywhere on the green, so anywhere on the highlight. Um, and notice there's a bunch of options like copy and note and, and remove. So I'm going to add a note to this. So tap on note and add a note. Save that. And then notice that there's a note icon at the top right of the highlight. Um, if I want to edit that note, I can tap on note and edit it, or there's a trash icon at the top next to save, so I can trash it. I'll hit cancel. And then I want to show you one cool thing. So let's go to the related contents, the icon at the very top right. Notice that it shows my note in line with all of the footnotes. I think that's really cool. If I want to delete this highlight, I can tap on the highlight and tap remove. This will also remove any of the notes or tags or links that I've added to them. Next, let's talk about links. So I've re-added the highlight and note to this scripture, and I'll tap on the highlight. At the top right of the box, it says link. This is linking two scriptures together. So if I tap on link there, uh, it's asking me to find the other scripture that I want to link to, Moses 139. So there's a couple different ways to find it. So I can drill down in the scriptures, for example, tap on New Testament, First uh, Timothy 3, and I'm looking for verse 16. So once I find it, I can tap on anywhere on the verse, and it selects the verse, and then I can tap on Add at the top right. And then notice that First Timothy 3.16 is there, the top. Um, or uh, if I had it in another screen, I could tap on the screens icon at the bottom left, which I don't actually have that. Uh, I can search for the content at the top, um, which I could just type in the, the name of the scripture, and I can get to it that way. The way I'm going to do it is uh, I've been to it recently. So at the bottom right, there's a, a clock icon. So I'm going to tap on that. And then, uh, yeah, Doctrine and Covenants 6 there, uh, verse 30. So I'm going to tap on that verse and then tap on Add. So now I'm linking these two scriptures to Moses 1.39. So I tapped on Save. Um, and then if I tap on Related Content at the top right, it shows those two scriptures linked to Moses 1.39. If I want to edit those, I can tap on the highlight, tap on Link, and then just tap on one of the X's. Next, let's talk about tags. So I'll tap on the highlight, and then in the top of the box there, it says tag. So a tag is basically a word or phrase that is associated with the scripture. So uh, the scripture is talking about the work and the glory of God. So I'm going to add the tag glory. I'll tap on tag, and then I'll type in glory. So glory is not a tag that I've added before, so I'll hit enter. So it adds the tag, and then I'll add one that I have added before, God. So now there's two tags associated with the scripture. Save. Okay, so now if I go to library, and then to notes, and then tap on tags at the top. Now I have glory as a tag there, and if I tap on glory, it shows my scripture, and it also shows the linked scriptures there. If I want to remove a tag, you tap on the highlight, tap on tag, and then just hit delete. That removes the tags. Okay, so we looked at notes a little bit, but let's go back in there. So within notes, we have our tags, but look at the right, it says notebooks. So let's create a new notebook. Let's call it study. And then uh, a notebook is basically a collection of all of the study helps. So let's create a new note. We can have notes in here. New note. And then uh, notes can be bolded, and then you can have bolded lists and different things. Okay, so I have my new note that I just added, and then let's add a highlight. So I'll go back to Moses 139, which I have in a different screen. And I've re-added all the tags and links that I had added before. And then I'll tap on the highlight, and then tap Add To. I want to add it to the study notebook. So now if I go back to that other screen that I had of the study notebook, I see my first note that I added and then the note that I attached to the highlight Moses 139, as well as the linked scriptures and the tags. 
All right, bookmarks. So let's say I'm reading in my daily scripture study and I only have enough time to make it to verse 39 of Moses 1. So I'll tap on the bookmarks icon at the bottom right and create a new bookmark. Tap on the plus and I'm gonna call this a personal study. Great. So now I've got a bookmark icon to the left of verse 39. If I tap on that bookmark, I can move it. Let's say the next day I'm reading and I make it to the next chapter, but I only make it to verse five. I can tap on the bookmarks icon at the bottom right and update that personal study bookmark by tapping on the circle arrow to the right. And that updates it to verse five. If you want to delete them, uh, swipe to the left. But notice how I have multiple. So you can have multiple bookmarks. So if I have a couple study or personal study, or if I'm reading for a lesson or something, I can, I can add more bookmarks. Study plans. Uh, so study plans is a new feature they just added. Let's take a look. So I'll create a new plan, uh, select content, set a schedule and add a reminder. Okay. So the content that I want to finish is come follow me. Uh, individuals and families and then I'll add a reminder so I want to be reminded every Wednesday at 8 o'clock and then hit save okay so it just added the study plan for me so I'll tap on the study plan and as I study I can check these off on the left and then if I hit back arrow, uh, it shows me the percentage completed there on the left, 6% and 50 items. Um, let's add another one at the plus icon at the bottom right. And this one I want to do the Book of Mormon. Let's set a schedule. I want to read every day and I want to finish by the end of the year. Instead of going to scriptures and then into Book of Mormon this way to study, um, you should actually go into study plans, tap on your study plan, Book of Mormon, and then I can read the chapters from here. So I'll tap on that chapter, scroll down to the very bottom, and then I see this at the very bottom. I can check off that I read that chapter, and it shows it completed, go to the next chapter, finish the chapter, and then check off completed. And then I'll go back to the study plan, which is the icon at the very top. If you hit the back arrow, it'll actually take you back to introduction, which is where I was. So uh, now it shows me the 1% complete, and I have 245 days left. Audio and video. So if you're ever in the scriptures, if you scroll to the very top, notice the headphone icon on the bottom right shows up. If you tap on that, you can listen to the scriptures by hitting the play button. Uh, let's look at a few of the options there. We'll tap on the settings icon on the right. So you can change the playback speed all the way up to 3 and then down to 0.5. Continuous play just means that it'll play the next chapter automatically. Um, and then you can change the voice uh, from male to female. Uh, one note with that is the, the chapter headings will always be read by the opposite gender. So don't be confused when, when that happens. Um, so for video... I'm going to go into general conference. Um, you can just watch the video uh, by tapping the play icon. There's the down arrow above the play icon. If you tap on that, it'll, it'll download the video. And that's good for if you don't know if you're going to have an internet connection, wherever you're going to be, if you need to show a video, uh, you can download it and you'll be able to play it. Okay, let's look at content. So. If I could go to Teachings of the Presidents at the bottom right, notice that most of them are grayed out. That's because I've only tapped on the Gordon B. Hinckley one to download it. If I wanted to download any of the other ones, I can tap on them and they'll be downloaded. And I'll have the whole book there, but just know that not all of the content is downloaded to your phone. Uh, if you tap and hold on a book, you can remove it. So it's, it's deleted from the phone. Um, and then if you go to the gear icon at the bottom left, you can see all of the content that you've downloaded under content, downloads, English. Um, so I have a lot of scriptures, 
a lot of music and, and other things, but you can delete all of the items here to save storage on your device. Okay, the last thing I wanted to talk about was search. So if I tap on the search icon at the very bottom middle, um, and I type in the word faith, notice how there's a bunch of results that come up automatically. Uh, any with a yellow arrow, those are search uh, suggestions. Uh, it's suggesting that I go to hymns or children's songbook or gospel topics. If I tap on the top one where it just says faith with the magnifying glass, that will actually show me the search results of all of the content. So any reference to the word faith. So if I go into scriptures, Old Testament, uh, shows me all the references to the word faith. Um, so I'll clear that out and I'll try a different one. If I do, uh, oh, if I want to search a phrase, I can put it in quotations and it came to pass. I can search for that and that shows me just where it says that whole phrase and it came to pass. Um, and then the last one I wanted to show you is, uh, it's kind of a shortcut to get to scriptures. So if I want to get to Doctrine and Covenants, uh, section 4, verse 4, I can just type DC 4, 4. Uh, so notice the first suggestion there is Doctrine and Covenants 4, 4, and that's exactly what I want. Let's try a different one. So I'll clear that out. So let's do uh, Mosiah chapter 3, verse 19. So I'll just do Mos 3, 19. Uh, so there's Moses there as well, but I want the Mosiah one. So this is really helpful if you are in a lesson and, and the teacher asks for someone to read a scripture, you can get to it really quickly. Thank you for watching, and I hope this was helpful for you.